Hi, welcome to episode 4 of my Let's Play channel in 1.20 in this nice beautiful cherry blossom grove that we've got going on at the moment. I am Nia Kiri, I am from the future and I am coming to you from the end of the episode because I forgot to record an intro and that's, that's cool, we'll just do it now. So welcome in, I've got a lot to a lot in store to show you and I'm really excited to show you what I've done today. So I hope you enjoy, we'll see you in the video. So after last episode I needed to gear myself up again and so I started working on heading down to the mines. I got the two hoes that I got from the ancient city and I put them together to make a super hoe because down in the mines there are some skulls. I was going to mine all that skull and get all the XP from it. But in between episodes I went down to the ancient city again and I found myself a fortune book. And that was absolutely brilliant with the diamonds that we had left over because I could make myself a diamond a diamond pickaxe, a fully enchanted diamond pickaxe, proficiency 4 and fortune 3. And so with that and my hose, I was ready to get down in there and to mine absolutely everything and find the diamonds that were hidden underneath the skull. So this was actually a really successful trip, all things considered. I got heaps of um, experience and I managed to get a whole bunch of diamonds as well, thanks to that fortune pick. And because of the mending hoe that I had, I could just keep on going and keep getting as much experience as I needed. Just kept on covering diamonds after diamonds underneath the skull, and I kept exactly what I needed to <laughs> to gear up for the next bit of the episode. Of course, I did set off the occasional shrieker and maybe spawned a tiny little bit of water. Just, just a touch. Nothing too bad, maybe like five or so at one point in counting. Yeah, five wardens, I would say. They're really, really easy to spawn really really easy and real scary too i had so many heart attacks doing this but i really wanted to clear out that skull <laughs> there was so much of it and it provided just so much experience i managed to get myself full diamond armor and even a diamond sword and a diamond axe and then i went back down just to get a couple more experience levels because my enchants weren't the best and also i was kind of on a mission at this point what i mean yeah i did it i got all the skull gone it was quite a different landscape and I ended up with 50 experience levels after that which is a huge amount from just getting and mining skull. Anyway then I went back to decorating, making the house all nice and pretty on the outside, making the tree like a lush glorious place flipping that you saw in the intro. I went and made myself a shovel with my last remaining diamonds because I was about to do a whole bunch of terraforming and I really needed that unbreaking diamond shovel to get me through it because I don't want to have to be some mining iron again and again and again to get more shovels. But anyway, I got that diamond shovel and I started terraforming in a time lapse. So here you go, here's that time lapse for you. I took a little break from building for a while and I went on a little adventure and let me tell you this seed is amazing. Just a little bit off the coast is a freaking mushroom island. I've never seen a mushroom island before in my life in Minecraft yet here one is just right like less than five minutes away from my from the spawn. It's ridiculous. There's like a little bit of warm ocean here which I'm very confused about. I want to see like what's underneath down here. I want to see this little bit of light. I can't see anything else though. I don't know why there's just a touch of warm motion. I'm to oh, whoa, what? Oh, okay, it's a trident drought. Okay, that's fine. We totally just didn't die to these guys last episode. Let's get him. We got this. We got this. We're in full diamond. We got this completely. Die. Don't drown. Don't drown myself. We'll get him. 
Darn it. Yes. And he didn't drop a titan. Oh well. That's alright. We don't need a trident anyway. We'll get one one day. It's fine. But yeah, this is a really cool- Oh, wait. Okay, he did drop a trident. <laughs> <laughs> and we've got ourselves a trident. Okay. Mushroom Island with a trident. Yep. That seems about right. <laughs> well, I don't know what I'm going to be able to do with this. I'm not going to throw it though. I don't want to end up losing it in the ocean after I've just gotten it. Anyway, <laughs> let's keep having a look, see what's underneath this water here. I need is I want to see if there's anything cool underneath the island. Oh, I found moss. Okay, that's good. We, yeah, sure. <laughs> Why is there moss underneath the mushroom, mushroom island? Oh no, it's a it's a lush cave. It's a lot of land and it's a lot of... Ooh, this is an interesting cave. Ooh, he keeps- he keeps dying. He just wants to live. I can't- I don't have anything to be able to get him up. I'm just- just stay there. Okay? Don't go up. Just- just stay there and I'll collect the moss and maybe I'll come back to you if I find some iron anywhere. I don't see any iron anywhere. That's gold. Oh look, a geode as well. Whoa. That's cool. And this should hopefully get us... Yes, okay, good. It did get us a, get us a cluster. Okay, we're back home for our adventure and I've got something really cute to show you with the mycelium that I picked up. Look at this. Pink petals can go on the mycelium. How cute is that? Look at that. It fits in so well as a nice little carpet inside. Like with the grey underneath, it's so, so cute. I absolutely love it so much. Now there's one more thing I want to build before we finish all the buildings off for this episode and that is I need to make another house for the village and so I need to go and grab a whole bunch of materials and get that one started so let's go into that time lapse now So after that build, I decided that I am actually going to redeem myself from last episode and I was going to go to the end. I wasn't even, I wasn't planning on fighting the Ender Dragon, I just wanted to get to the end and that was good enough for me. So I took my Ender Pearls, I took my last bit of, last bit of Blaze Rods and I headed over. So we do not have enough Ender Pearls to fill out this whole section here, unfortunately. We're missing, we're missing four. We're missing four Ender Pearls, our inventory is so full. There is nothing else I can carry from here. I've gotten everything from the library that I could. Like I've got my flame, I've got my uh, loyalty book, power four, two power fours, and actually two stacks of books. So now the only thing I need to be able to do is go through this portal and find home. That's going to be hard. I'm hoping this compass points to zero zero in the number as well. I'm not too sure if it does though. We'll find out. Oh my god. Whoa, oh, ho, oh. oh, that scared me so badly. That scared me so badly. Wow. Let's, let's get off this little platform here. Let's actually make a way up because we're going to have to come back to here. So where are we? You know what? We are right at a warped biome. I just, oh gosh, already lost the portal. Ah, hello. Right, I'm not wearing gold. That would explain that. That would explain that. I'm not going to change the gold. It's fine. I don't need gold on me. It's completely fine. I do need if I can. I don't have a shield, but yeah. Oh, okay. This is where I died last time. I couldn't find the area. They're still having a party. They're still all having a party from last episode. What the heck? If I put this boat down and it goes exactly the way it did last time, I think I would sue. Why are they all here? Oh my gosh. Oh, I've already made a mistake. Right. 
luckily the one that's angry at me is the one that's in the boat. Oh, hello, Nether Fortress. Alright. Okay. Very interesting spawning here. Um, I don't know what to do about this one. PB hate. I can't get in the boat because he's angry at me. I'm just going to very carefully, very carefully, not look at any of them. Slowly smack that one. Oh, one more got on the boat. Okay. Okay. Very carefully. Uh, okay. It's totally fine. It's totally fine. Oh, okay. That's an ender pole. I will take it. Yes. Okay, now where did we spawn again? Have we lost our spawn? Over here. Over here. Two blaze rods. Ooh. Four blaze powder. Four Ivan dots. Bonk, bonk, bonk. There it is. We only have eight arrows. Twenty baked potatoes. Uh, uh, um. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Okay. Completely unprepared. Did not set out to do this. That. Let's put down that. Let's put everything we don't really want to lose. That, I guess. We have 20 potatoes. We really don't want to get that here. We have our... You know what? We will just do this. Just in case. Ooh. Okay, that's one. Uh, where, where did you shoot that? Oh, just dodged that. Wow, okay. Oh, I do have Swift Sneak. This makes this so much faster. That's good. I like the Swift Sneak. I do like the Swift Sneak. Oh my gosh. Oh. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Hit for a lot more damage than I thought it would. Yikes. Yikes, 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 yikes. Let me just run for a little bit. Okay. Don't shoot at me. I only have so many of these. Damn it. Yes. Yes. Okay, there's one more somewhere. Is there any? Oh, he's shooting at me. Ow. Rude. Yes, that was a hit. Didn't do much. But it was a hit. Okay. I want to get under the tail. Let's get him down. Let's keep going. Okay. Barely hit me off, it's fine. No, I'm not gonna aim at the moment. No, I have four of these, three of these left. Can't be willy-nilly aiming at them. Ooh, what in the air? Are you, are you angry at me? You are. That's fine, I got your thoughts, thank you. Oh no, oh no, no, I want to hit you. Yes. Yes, 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 we did it. We did it. And has been saved. Now we get to enjoy all the rain of experience. Whee. What level will it take us to? 64. Ooh. 68. Those are some good levels. Good. I grab all my stuff back. Come here. Where did you go? Okay, um. You also kind of need that torch, please. 
portion next Ong, egg egg the next generation you know that spot there and Val egg in hand we can head on out of here we through the credits do we need credits anyone ever really need credits we know I'm playing Java. We know I'm playing Minecraft. We know they see me. <gasps> Look, it's my name. And we leave it my name. <laughs> we don't need to get called out. <laughs> and we're home. Here we are. Back to our base. With everything loading in the distance like that. Thank you, Mr. Mending Villager, for your trade. And your cute little house. He's like the watcher for our little our little village that's coming along. Yeah, I really couldn't I couldn't decide on a good way to do this bridge here. Because of how I have it going across, it's just like it's not straight. I couldn't do like the actual supports. Like I couldn't connect them together as such. But, I mean I think I did a, a good an alright job at making bridge all nice and pretty like it kind of fits in kind of interesting got some interesting de deco going on within the signs as well there's like little railways like yeah little posts yeah yeah i did an all right job there i'm liking i'm liking how the village is starting off to be i want to place one house here as well then i want to place another house down here in this little spot as well this will, this is a really nice spot probably place a couple more houses down here as well I need to finish this I, I want paths going through I want houses I want paths I want to make this look like an actual an actual village and my inside is looking great as well thank you so much for coming out to watch episode 4 everyone I hope you enjoy and I will catch you in the next one where we expand the village even more thank you so much Bye!